Well, this is going to be quite a weird surprise for everybody. Maybe not a good surprise or a bad surprise, depending on how the way you look at it, but I'm going to showcase to you all one of the weirdest games I've ever played in my life. Not so much weird in a bad way or weird in a good way, but just weird in a very weird way. Now, as you can see, this is the Wii U menu. I have not yet played a Wii U game on the channel ever. And I'm pretty sure it's widely known at this point that they shut down the Wii U Virtual Shop and the 3DS Shop for that matter. So anything you want to buy digitally that is only available on the Wii U, you can't do that anymore. Like seriously, um, screw Nintendo for that matter regarding their horrible business practices. But that being said, before it did close down, I was able to snag a bunch of stuff. I mean, granted, it did cost me several hundred dollars, because none of these things you see on the menu were actually discounted. Not one. Not one thing was discounted here. So as you can see, I did snag quite a few things that are forever unavailable on the Wii U, at least. Well, pfft. again, I'm not kidding. The amount of things you see here right now are never going to be available on the Wii U again. And just to get this small amount cost me several hundred dollars. But anyway, I'm getting off track here. So for this video, I'm going to start playing Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. Now, full disclosure, I have played this back in the day. It came out on SNES in 1994, according to this. Now, why am I choosing to play this again? Because like I said, it's one of the weirdest things you'll ever see. It's meant as a direct follow-up to the traditional Pac-Man arcade game, but is it like uh, you walk around the maze doing the Waka Waka thing? No, it's a point-and-click sort of adventure game. I shit you not, but... Okay, let's just get right into it. Now, even getting this to record properly was quite a stretch, because I had to set my TV to 480 resolution and stretch the, my OBS software <laughs> to make it full screen. It's just crazy. Yep, there he is. Mm. Mm, it's all starting to come back to me. <laughs> even back then, SNES, hearing voice acting in any regard was such a rare thing. The super cool hero of this game, you don't say. Oh, jeez. Ms. Pac-Man, the star of her own arcade game and Pac-Man's video sweetheart. Pac Jr., the radical rock and roller of the family, hopes to start in his own game someday. Well, we'll see about that. Pac Baby, the cute little tot with an appetite so big even the ghosts are afraid to come near, you don't say. Oh, there are the ghosts. Inky, Blinky, uh, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde, four crazy ghosts that love to terrorize people, you don't say. Oh, who could that be? Nobody knows for sure just what it is, but rumor has it, this mysterious being is often seen working on the ground with the ghosts. Couldn't read that quickly. Da and dot dot dot. So I don't in particular maybe want to replay this Super Pac-Man. When Pac-Man eats a power pill, he transforms into the ghost-busting Super Pac-Man. So, okay, so here we go. Do I know the controls for this game? I don't even know the controls, I haven't played this in decades. Uh, game start, sure. They actually need me to use the B button to confirm, not the A button, the B button. Hi, I'm Pac-Man. Today, I'll introduce you to my world. I, I did not- was not lying when I said this was like the weirdest game you've ever seen, right? Or heard of. My world can be tricky sometimes, so I'll need your help finding things. Mm. Getting out of trouble and solving weird mysteries. This whole game is a weird mystery, come on, man. Before we start our adventure, let's practice working together. Come on, follow me. Yeah, I meant that in every sense of the word, it's like the weirdest thing you'll ever see in your life. Who thought this would be a good idea after the Pac-Man arcade game? Must have been done high on crack. <laughs> but it's such a weird thing, I just feel like showcasing it, for no particular reason, either. Yeah, so... This is the HUD. <laughs> you direct Pac-Man to do things by using the slingshot here. You hold B to roll around. Okay, so... He hasn't really given me a tutorial, though. <laughs> you actually hit him with the swing shot, too. It makes him furious. I'm not sure what he wants me to do, exactly. Mm. 
Yeah, that's like the easiest thing, because back. Okay. Well, there's a letter. This is. Can I skip this by any chance? I can't skip it, huh? I'm not sure he even wants me to hit do here. Jeez. Okay, the letter's right there. Wait, isn't there like a look command? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, there's the weather, man. Okay, you done? <laughs> oh, he's happy. Now the pa plane. Hey, bear in mind, Pac-Man moves on his own in this game. I can only direct him where to look or what to look at. I can't really c control him and like... Oh, okay, shoot down, maybe? Aim the sw- yeah, look at the SNES. Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. Press the hole. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Even back then, certain games had tutorials. Or something special, yeah. Work or not. Okay, got the airplane. So, when the bush is. Something in the bush, maybe? Oh, with the windmill? Okay. Okay, apparently that makes him happy. I think if I do repeal, he actually flies off, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's out cold. Did that not meet your expectations by saying it's one of the weirdest things you've ever seen? Sometimes you may even have to use the slingshot on Pac-Man. Shoot Pac-Man to wake him up. <laughs> sure. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. I think you're getting the hang of it. Am I? Am I really? Now that we're friends, are we really friends? I just met you. Here is an important hint. When I'm happy, I'll pay more attention to you. Yeah, I remember. It's all coming back to me. Okay, the power pellets. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> this is a power pellet. If I'm really in trouble, use the power pellet to turn me into Super Pac-Man. Oh yeah, like now here come the ghosts. There we go. It's right there. Okay, eat it. Yeah, I'm starting to remember all of this. Now he's gonna eat all the ghosts. One, two, and three. Okay, does that do it for the tutorial? Thanks, that was close. <laughs> Ms. Pac-Man is calling me. Let's see what she wants. Right, so this game actually had, consists of four different phases. The first one, I believe, involves getting your kid milk. Yeah, yeah. We are out of milk, and Pac-Baby is still hungry. Can you go get some more milk, please? No problem. <laughs> Gotta help your kid out when they're hungry, right? So now we're actually in the game, right? I do remember missing pieces of this, so yeah. He walks on his own. You just can only direct him what to do. Like, you can shoot this and... You want an apple? Okay, there you go. I mean, you shouldn't eat a raw apple on the sidewalk, man. Oh, now he's really happy. Oh, there's a dog. So you can manipulate the environment to do certain things. Like, if you want to go into this house, you could just shoot the door like that. <laughs> I remember all this. It's just such a weird thing back in the day. Lucy's room. Okay, so you can see it identifies the area. Yeah, use your big muscles. Move that... Um, okay, move it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, what could that be? Is that a Pac-Man cartridge? Yeah, so we like any like open world ish type of game back then, there are collectibles you could find. <laughs> yeah, very smug of yourself, aren't you? Move a couch and you're all happy. <laughs> See, right now, if I want to, I can shoot her with the slingshot and she starts crying, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. 
Mm. Okay, a spider. I'm gonna get too close to that thing, it could be poisonous. This is such a weird thing, right? Get rid of the damn spider, please. Can I get rid of it? Oh, there it goes. I'm sure it's fine. Keep out. Mm. I don't know, man. Oh, crow? Yeah, I don't remember all the solutions here, what everything does, because again, I played this decades ago. I think you're okay. Well, hold on, you want to get the apple? Oh, really? Why should we open that door, jackass? See, now he's upset, because he can be happy, sad, or angry. I remember that, too. Oh, look. Watch where you're stepping. <laughs> um, skateboard, you sure? Yeah, I won't do that while you're upset. Wait. Also, the music changes, too. It's crazy. Okay, he's waltzing for himself. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're not saying it's like the weirdest game you ever see in your life, or perhaps will ever see. It's gonna take a lot to top this, in my mind. And this is someone who played the game back in the day. <clears throat> Jeez. Oh, now he's all happy again. <laughs> okay, I didn't get that time. You're alright. I'm gonna be a little upset, though. Okay, he's still happy. Um, go back. Look, look. So... I believe you can actually play the old arcade games in here, but you need to find all the cartridges, right? I only have one of them so far, right? Oh, damn. <laughs> Jeez. This takes me back. At least we look like a dinosaur. It really does. Do I even want to do this now? I don't really have time. Okay, I think I'm stuck playing this. Anyway. Well, we should guys get to see like a nice piece of video game nostalgia right here. Is it? Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's coming after me. This is all we had back then. This is all we had back then in terms of innovation. It's nuts. Mm. Wait, this is what satisfied us people back in the day. You know, just stupid shit. Like, very basic things like this. That's all we had. That's nuts. Ah. So yeah, you beat each level by getting all the pellets. Problem is, if the ghost touched you, you're dead. You're instantly dead. Yes, yeah, so this is where the power pellet concept came from. You just gotta eat the pellets to stand the fighting chance. But even then, even then, it just gets rid of the ghost temporarily. Oh, jeez. Okay, get cutting down to the wire here. Ah, I'm just, yeah. If you get recorded like that, it's pretty much over. Basically, you don't lose your progress, you just lose a life, but... Alright. Level 1 complete, hallelujah. I do wish I could quit this, I didn't realize actually clicking on the machine and actually start this, that's my bad. But hey, I guess you, again, like I said, at least you guys get to experience this, see what... Oh, whoa. Ah, come on. Never said that was good with these old types, uh, old school types of games, guys. It's just what we had to deal with back then. I swear to God. <laughs> uh. No, replaying this is just a harsh reminder of my horrible age, and I'm. So oh, jeez. That's the thing. I do hate being old. I do wish I'd started out on YouTube when I was in my twenties, but no, I didn't think of that. When did you get out of here? Mm. 
Ah, I missed out on the strawberry. Jeez. Yeah, if I would've went to the left there, I would've been done. Oh, shit. Yeah, Blinky would've caught me there, too. Jeez. And done. Hmm. I wonder how far I'll get with one more life. Who knows? Oh, yeah, there's a cutscene. Starts chasing you, then he comes back at Super Pac-Man. Yeah. It's, it's incredible I remember this stuff. Really is. Again, what we're playing now, like Pac-Man 2, this, that was meant as a direct sequel to this. Ugh, oh, jeez, not paying attention to come too busy commentating. Okay, game over. Again, put another quarter in if you want to play again. Jeez. I don't care about putting my initials in, come on. Okay, I already full up on pellets, so not really important. Yeah, this is the Ms. Pac-Man machine. I believe you need the cartridges for that machine to play that one for whatever reason, okay? Mark it? I mean, it does say it's closed, so... Eh. How about the trash? Oh, there's a cat in the trash? Shocking, right. Anything in the tree? No. Hot dog man. Doesn't something take the hot dog, though? Yeah, get rid of that. You're not interrupting Pac-Man's hot, uh, Pac hot dog, please. Thank you. And I was really happy, whistling a happy tune. I believe the farm is in the next area. That's where we have to actually get the milk, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Stock farm, there we go. Okay, leave the chickens alone. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, don't hit the ball, you'll probably just break it. Can you reach that? Huh, okay, you can't reach it. Oh, that works. Yeah, very weird sword by pointing quick sword thing, even though you're not really pointing quicking. Well, you got the bottle, at least. I'm actually shooting the bottle with the destroy it, too. Okay, it's just so weird, this type of game, right? Oh, how fortunate, there's a cow right there. Now, I believe the farmer is to the left, but we just have to avoid him, right? Yeah, just do this. Sucks to be you. Yeah, so the first act is pretty simple. We just go home and give the baby the milk. I believe that ends everything. Let's see. Yeah, back home. Again, whoever thought this whole idea must have been high on crack. That's all I gotta say in that regard. Thank you, darling. You were a great help. <laughs> wow. Slow down, Pac Baby. Yeah, you don't want choking that stuff, do you? <laughs> Man, she must have been emaciated. Drink that quickly. Okay, there are the ghosts. Ah, bright light. Oh. You've been beaten by Pac Man. Now you must suffer the consequences. <laughs> yeah, kid friendly, right? I think that this that character actually gave me some nightmares as a kid back actually. Jeez. I mean, it's not like you could kill ghosts, right? They are technically dead. That's why they fall off into those eyeballs. Okay. Okay, what is there to say about this? Seriously, what is there to say? I don't think there is much to say. Yeah, I don't care about the passwords. I'm not doing the password system. Oh, next up, we gotta find um, something on the mountain, if I remember. Okay, he's watching TV. Today is Lucy's birthday. She loves fresh mountain flowers, right? I remember that now. Please take the ropeway and pick some flowers for her. Alright. Whatever you say, dear. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so remember we've passed that station back at the farm? You could actually go there now because we have the ticket. Okay, so get rid of the farmer with strat them, I should say. You're fine, as long as I don't shoot him again, he shouldn't wake up. I mean, that being said, there are. Okay, hold on, let me just bring up the pause screen for a sec. So Pac Man, for the part. Uh... Oh, that's right, I need those key cards. Crap, I don't remember where those are. You need those to actually beat the game. I can't remember where they are, though. Shit. Oh, that's the map, too, right, okay. No, the weird thing is, there is, a, like, a percentage meter you could do. Like, we do certain things, it unlocks the percentage meter. But from what I could tell, no one actually knows, like, how to get full completion on this game. It's crazy, right? I didn't look that up before playing. No one knows how to get 100% completion in this game. Definitely doesn't help, this is a very obscure title. It doesn't... yeah. Okay, so we're going up the mountain. Oh, I just remember what we have to do on this map. I just remembered. Now go to the left first. Let's head away for danger for time being. Hole. Okay, can't do anything there. And what's this? Oh, this is where we come out from, right? After we're done the mountain, memory serves. Not. Pack, you ain't the Hulk. You ain't Bruce Banner. Come on, not gonna happen. Okay. Ouch. Okay, maybe I was supposed to shoot them out of the way. So yeah, there are ways you could fail, essentially. It just causes your character to, like, die, essentially. But you always come back, so it's not like there's a life system or anything. So, let's see, it's gonna happen again? Okay, so I do have to get shoot that. Maybe shoot him out of the way when it comes. Okay, so yeah, gotcha. Okay, waterfall. It's like Legend of Zelda. There's something behind there. I guess there isn't. Okay, log pile. Okay, I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay, is there anything in this forest worth checking out? Um, watch that boulder. I don't know about that log pile, looks kinda sus. I wouldn't sit in that. Oh, see? That's what you get. Oh, now he's all upset again. <laughs> Mood swings if I ever saw them. Oh, jeez, um... Okay, if he has to shoot this one now, I'm gonna fall down on that one, right? Shoot again. Oh, no, it's not... Okay. We're doing the minecart thing now, oh boy. Yeah, guide, please. I need a guide. Okay, let's see. Faster push Y, shoot... Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, boy. Do we have time? Yeah, I guess we do. Oh, hop in. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. I think I just failed, because now we just have the minecart to ride in. Yeah, it's not talking like the... Okay. I don't think you could do this without the minecart. Yeah, I have to screw. Ah, uh, jeez. We'll just have him fail because I messed up here. Mm. Okay, let's try this again. Now, this is a very short game. If you know what to do, if you could complete it under an hour. To sort of extend the length of this, I'm going to try and explore all the options we can as far as, like, doing things and interacting with things. Wow. 
I mean, I can't guarantee I'll fire as much as I could back in the day as a kid, but we'll see. I mean, he's gonna get in, right? Okay, so, yeah. This is very tense, I remember. Very, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember this. Dangerous Cave, yeah, appropriately named. Jeez. They still make things like this nowadays. Jeez, of course. Yeah, I remember all this stuff. It's all starting to come back to me, folks. You're clear. Where are the ghosts are here? Yeah, I don't think there's any need to go fast at the moment, so we're not going to. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these... Oh, okay, God, okay. You must have to hit him, too. Yeah, what really sucks is I don't think I get any checkpoints here. I can do the whole thing about him dying. Um, yeah. PTSD already being triggered from remembering that shit. I mean, sure, it's not the longest thing in the world, if I remember, but long enough. Yeah, I don't know why we could shoot the lanterns. What's the point of that, exactly? <laughs> I don't really know what maybe want to play this. I already downloaded it before the shop closed. Ugh. Hey, Pinky. There you go. Hey, so we gotta shoot the guy with the little plunger, whatever that thing is. Let's see. And I gotta shoot you up? Okay, no, 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 I got something- Oh, I know what to do, I know what to do. <laughs> Asshole. I think I just have to get under him quick enough, right? Memory serve. Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, I was not kidding, guys. Such a weird game, I know. But, when you think about- Would you ever, ever know about this game beforehand, or ever in your life, I didn't bring it up just now? Probably not. Probably not. So, you're welcome in that regard. <laughs> you are totally welcome in that regard. Yeah, I don't hit the guy with the blue thing, I just gotta get under him quickly. If memory serves. Let's hope I'm right. The games back then were not fair, by the way, because he had no checkpoints throughout this whole thing. Yeah, I just avoid him. Whoa, whoa. Okay. See what I mean, guys? This is just not fair. I f didn't realize there was a second one there. I'll give it one more try after that, I just gotta take a break. <laughs> I wasn't originally just gonna beat the game regularly, but considering it is a very short game, like I said, I do want to explore all the options I can. But there's so many things you could just fun things you could do in this game, like to make him mess up or whatever, so yeah. Alright, so. Thank God I didn't fall on him. So how do I time this correctly? There we go. I'm not done yet though, I know that much. Yeah, pick up some speed there. There we go. Nice right, ghost, no one likes you. Yeah, they probably were not the boulders on there. Ah, damn it, one got away. I'm not going fast if I don't have to, screw that. Jeez. Jeez. You gotta be, like, on the point 24-7. Ah. Yeah, yeah, this is not easy, guys. This is not easy. You have to time this shit. And if you fuck up, you're back at the beginning. Like, wow. Again, my PTSD is being triggered by all of this, because getting through these sections as a kid was just nightmarish. As an adult, it's really not that much better, but damn. Alright, so next time I'll try... Okay, so what is interesting about the Wii U Virtual stuff... On SNES, this game had no save function, right? If you wanted to see whatever you could do and just beat the game in general, you had to do it in one shot, right? 
there is no life system, but if you wanted to see everything, you had to do it without turning the game off. <laughs> like, easier said than done, considering how easily these things would overheat. Not to mention, the power went out, like the plug came out because your dog ran over it, or like the power went out in your house, house or something, you were screwed regardless. So at least with this way, I could just quit and come back to it immediately because of the quick resume. Uh, okay. So next time I'll explore some other things, I think I am stuck on the minecart section, at least until I beat it. Now, as I said, I was just originally go going to just beat the game normally. But again, considering how short the game is, I might as well just explore all the options I can, right? In regards to shooting what I can, just discovering stuff. It is like a fun game. You're not meant to take it seriously, of course. It's just a very goofy thing that makes no sense. That's why I feel like I felt. That's why I felt like it was important to cover, though. Where else are you going to see someone cover this game? I mean, it came out in 1994, for crying out loud. Uh, all right. Well, I guys, I hope you guys will come come on this journey with me. Very weird journey, I know. But how else would you even known about this game in the first place without me, right? <laughs> okay. So see you soon.